Yeah, those are good ones. Yeah. Oh, you pulled it up. You're supposed to break it off. I, I was trying to, okay? Morel mushrooms. The best fungus in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, do you need a bite? I don't know if you'd eat much fungus. That's my finger. <laughs> Bear, Bear, that's my finger. Here's the food. Gosh. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by stamps.com. Can you believe we're already three months into 2023? We do a lot of, uh, packaging of our own merchandise and you know shipping of our own merchandise we do these four big launches a year oh man we're already three months into the year time flies and that's where stamps.com comes in time is precious it's our it's one of our most valuable asset and stamps.com and lets you print your own postage from home or your office or wherever you're at and you don't have to go to the post office so shipping rates are always going up. Postage always goes up. Stamps.com automatically tells you the cheapest and fastest shipping options. You'll get access to USPS and UPS shipping services you need to run your business right from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic. It's frustrating when you go to the post office and there's 17 people in line. We live in a small community and it's always backed up. So for us personally, and for so many of you guys, if you sell products from your home, you can tie Shopify directly into stamps.com. Shopify, Amazon, eBay, all these different things, your online marketplaces integrate into a dashboard on stamps.com. So set your business up for success when you get started with stamps.com today. So sign up today at stamps.com slash arms family for a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com slash arms family. What's up guys, it's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and uh, man, it's my favorite time of year. I love springtime. There's just, it's like a whole new breath of fresh air coming out of winter. But uh, we're trying to get, get everything ready for uh, turkey season. Trying to get everything ready for morel mushrooms. Trying to get everything ready for the sand bass run. Uh, Weston and I caught a couple catfish in the creek the other day. Still no sand bass. Uh, I did talk to some friends the other day that went down way down the creek close to the lake and caught a bunch 
uh, Houston and Jacoby and I tried one evening for just a few minutes and uh, we didn't, didn't go far enough down. It got too close to dark for us. But anyways, Houston and I filled up a deer feeder. The deer's still kind of coming in a little bit. It is greening up, so they're going to switch over to uh, the browse. But either way, turkey season is just around the corner. Yeah, there's been a bunch of turkeys lately. This guy wants to kill a turkey this year. Yeah. Uh, the last several years, we haven't had too many turkeys on our property. Mostly, I believe, because of ground predators. Um, the wild hogs. So that's why we've been trapping pigs. One of the main reasons we've been trapping pigs. Um, and we haven't seen a pig on camera in probably, several months. Yeah. Probably back uh, like Six months. middle of deer season. So no pigs on camera, but we do have a lot of turkeys moving still. We saw a bunch of turkeys during deer season. Still a bunch of turkeys moving around. Turkey season's gonna start really soon. We did see a hen yesterday. We saw a hen yesterday. We got some pretty good toms coming into this feeder. Uh, in Oklahoma, during turkey season, you can't hunt over a bait site. You have to be 100, I think it's 100, 150 yards away. But uh, we're not putting out corn to bait the turkeys necessarily to hunt. They'll We'll call them in. And when those gobblers um, get to chasing the hens and gobbling and stuff, you you go after them. And uh, I think Houston may try to kill a turkey with that crossbow this year. So we'll see. But the lucky crossbow, the lucky crossbow. But we've spent the last uh, several days off and on doing some mushroom hunting. Uh, it's morel mushroom season. Houston and I um, have probably found a couple dozen total. We, we ate oh. some the other night. I think I found about six or eight over at the Mill Creek property the other day. Hey, I beat him yesterday. This guy's getting an eye for mushrooms. So we'll show you a little footage of mushroom hunting. And I think mom's going to cook us some up for lunch today. She's got a really good recipe. So uh, let's go see if she's ready to cook some mushrooms. Yeah. Well, Houston, it's definitely time to refresh our mineral site. So we fed uh, deer mineral, put deer mineral out here all last year all last summer and fall and you can see they're uh, definitely pawing at the ground so we're gonna put out another another bucket of mineral you can't get that open, I can't get it open. i'll get it for you that's hard just got to pull that little tab right there once you get it started it'll just go on around wish i could smell this stuff go fresh mineral for the deer help them get those antlers started growing right yeah i found the first one you did yeah cool this one right here if you can get to it here i'll get it First mushroom of the year. It's a small one, but it's it is one. Yep. Let's see if you can find it. I found another one. Between you and the big tree. Oh I see it. I see it. Do you? Yeah, it's right there. You get it? They might be a little bit smaller right now, but it's also early in the season, and we're just not finding them. So. You got another one? Yeah, it's a big one. Right I don't know about big. It's a little bigger. Well, it's bigger than the rest of them. Yep. Grab it. Ow. Right in the... Hey, that's a good one. Not bad. Grab that one. That's a good one. Oh, look. Looky there. That two stems? Yeah, three stems, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's a big one. I didn't see the one behind it. Watch. Oh, 
There's another one. There's a whole bunch right there. There's three right there, Houston. Where? Where's the third one? I see one, two, three. See it? Right in front of you. Oh, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> I'd like a big stem, two stems, actually. Yeah, those are good ones. Yeah. Oh, you pulled it up. You're supposed to break it off. I, I was trying to, okay? There we go. Well, we came over to uh, the Mill Creek property at the cabin, and so far we've only found one harvest size mushroom but i was in the woods back there looking for mushrooms and this guy was yelling at me that he found something he's pretty excited about it yeah i don't think it's a mushroom no what what's, what's the deal i'm out of breath now that i got to you uh it's a deer shed oh you found a deer shed yeah is that your first one you've ever found by yourself yeah yeah and it wasn't placed wasn't placed <laughs> First legit deer shed you found on your own? Ooh. Yeah. It's not too bad of one. Heck no. No. But that's what it is. Yeah. I wonder if he dropped his other one around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I thought, <laughs> I didn't mean. I wonder if he did, I yeah. said. Yeah, that's what I meant, that's what I meant. Well, that buck dropped his shed, what, 60 yards from the cabin. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that is, it's pretty awesome, man. It's not a bad one either. Nope. Looks like it's going to storm on us though. Yep. A couple more. One of them's been there a little while. Yeah. It's all right. We'll take them. Yeah. By the way, he didn't find these ones. I did. What? No, now, found, come on. Hey, I found four and you found one. Well, we've been, we've been practicing lately, huh? Yeah. found a dandy it's a big guy look at this one hiding in the leaves trying to be all cute and stuff can't get away from me man oh yes perfect oh my he's big it's a good one You think you know what you're doing? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Well, if you use the recipe you used the other night, they were fantabulous. I know. Pinterest is good for something. Look, our roses are still alive. Very pretty. Oh, I got something else I was going to show. Um, everybody's been asking about em Houston's emu egg, and it is still incubating. It's We're still, uh, still a few days out on even knowing if that thing's going to hatch or not. But that's not what I was going to show you. One of you guys sent me this the other day. And it's kind of hard to see in the daylight. But, looky there. Isn't that pretty cool? It's me and Bella. You change it. At night, you can really see it a lot better. It's trying to get a dark background, but you can change all. There we go. You can see it in blue. It's me and Bella. That's pretty cool, cool, huh? Yeah. You want to eat some mushrooms for lunch? Yeah. Well... I think mom's gonna cook them for us. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like the stems? Um, no. No, I'm not really a fan. Sure wish Houston would have found about 50 of those. <laughs> you know what? You know, everybody always uh, trains their, their dogs to be shed hunting dogs. Wish we could train a dog to be a mushroom dog. <laughs> That'd be all right, yeah. as long as they didn't eat them. Yeah. Um. What? I, I don't see a problem. Really? What? <laughs> What's up, Bear? Are you wanting mushrooms too, buddy? All right, so what's your game plan here? What are we doing? We're gonna batter these in some egg 
and then the rest of my stuff is over there yeah i put all your prep ingredients on the other countertop there's one thing that i knew was going to be an issue when i built this outdoor kitchen or well i didn't build it build it when we were building it i knew there wasn't going to be enough space here but i didn't know what else to do because i wanted the side burner and the griddle on the same side yeah you know so there's a lot of counter space here you just can't you can't really get to it because the grill's there anyways i'm not complaining oh yeah you needed a fork right i need a fork so egg wash with milk salt and then you're going to roll them in these are actually um um, um saltine oyster, crackers oyster crackers well you had oyster have. crackers yeah. yeah that's all i have basically yeah. a saltine cracker crumb yeah. right mm-hmm mm -hmm. they're very good buttery. and uh and no oil no oil that's interesting yep this is real Just, butter you, you're cooking like rob from deer meat for dinner now that's right that's all he cooks whole with. stick of butter whole stick of butter yeah chilly out here. Oh, you're too spoiled. Earl, don't you be walking out on my countertops. That butter smells so good. Yeah, it does. I wonder if these are any healthy. Nope. Hey. Not the way we're cooking. Not the way we're cooking them, buddy. <laughs> so, so good. Come on, Earl. So a lot of people like if they're using flour, they'll double dip them. But that's not what we're doing today. Double donkey, huh? Yeah. I love doing that on my chicken fry. That's what I do when I make chicken fry. But. Just cooking them in a stick of butter, huh? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Just a Cook until golden brown, right? Yes. I don't like soggy fried food, so I'm try to get it pretty perfect. You know, I could be totally wrong, but I bet you this would be Captain Donovan approved. I bet it would. The way he cooks too. He <laughs> yeah. likes the butter. Yeah. the golden goose egg from the story <laughs> the goose that lays the golden egg yep i think uh you're confused we have a goose that lays a non-fertile egg <laughs> mom you have an audience yeah they're not getting any yet it's not their turn eat them before they get cold well give us a taste test here houston are hot. Don't like it? They're so good. <laughs> you, you, I wish y'all could try these. They're just so good. Mm. I do good work. <laughs> you approve of yourself, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. So good. Got to get them while they're hot, though, right? Mm -hmm. Not soggy at all. Mm. So good. Pretty simple recipe. Cut the morel mushrooms in half. Make you a egg and milk wash. Roll them in saltine cracker crumbs. And fry them in butter. Mm. All right, morel mushrooms. The best fungus in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, do you need a bite? I don't know if you'd eat much fungus. Here. 
That's my finger. Oh my God. Bear. That's my finger. Here's the food. Gosh. Thanks for that. I think he thought he had five hot dogs there to eat. <laughs> that gum bear. Mom, they're all gone before you get the next batch out. They're so good. Hmm, good stuff. Mm -hmm. We're out. You ready? Need the salt. You know what? I wish we had to go with it. The steak. A whole bunch of fried fish. Oh, that too. Houston didn't catch any sand bass. You caught one, and it was small. So I don't want to hear it. So I'm right. Houston didn't catch any <laughs> sand bass. That was a true statement, right? Sure. What's the matter, Earl? Did you not get a bite? Are you licking your lips? Do you think you need a mushroom, too? Okay. Since you made me feel guilty, see if you'll eat it. He's not sure. Hey, where are you going? He's like, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't like people to watch him eat. No. He does that in the house, too. If we give him a treat in the house, he always runs and hides on the other side of the couch. Mm -hmm. Another batch was gone before you got the next ones out. That means they're worth eating. They are definitely worth eating. Well, guys, like I said, spring is my favorite time of year. I love everything about spring baseball's firing up softball's firing up fish are biting mushrooms are coming up green green grass is popping up maybe not so much gardening going on is probably what there should be but anyways morel mushrooms if you've never had them they're amazing um the tastiest little fungus in the woods i promise you and uh the, what, it's just one of those things that's kind of uh I don't know. I don't want to say magical for me, but I still find mushrooms in all the same places that my dad taught me, you know, as a kid. And Houston's 10. I've been hunting mushrooms on this property all of my life. And I find mushrooms where my dad showed me, you know, 30 years ago. And uh, some years there's more, some years there's less. Some years we don't find any at all if the moisture is not just right. So um, it's just one of those family traditions i guess and they're very tasty and i enjoy them so anyways guys that's all i've got for today thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video